Michelle, I saw her nurse is going to come out to me joining us with this week's at Munching Monday. It looks pretty good over there, guys. Yeah, yeah. we have a special guest, <laughs> Nora. Hello. Our lead producer, Nora Rogers, is very Irish. She loves St. Patrick's Day. Uh, so we thought that she would be the perfect person to show off your grandma's yes. Irish soda bread recipe. So you have it here. What is Irish soda bread? So it's very popular right now for St. Patrick's Day these days because, of course, bread it's used to soak up all the booze that you're drinking. <laughs> of course. So that is why everyone loves Irish soda bread, but it actually dates back. The history of it really is, the whole point is that there's cheap ingredients, right? right? So it's flour, sugar, baking soda, baking powder. It's really anything you can find already in your house. Okay. And so that is kind of the history behind it, is that no matter where you live in the country, what resources you have, you can bake this and not go hungry. So that's where it started. Is it an Irish, like, a, is it a St. Patrick's Day recipe, or do we just talk about it on St. Patrick's Day because it's Irish? Right. Like I said, it's popular now because you're yeah. drinking and you want bread, but it really was a universal thing. It's not just a St. Patrick's Day thing. Okay, so your sister makes your grandma's recipe. Yes, That's so this is my first time making okay. it. So I made you guys a little Good mini loaf. Um, my sister's an awesome baker, so she usually makes it. My grandma made it every single year, so you can see the ingredients up here. It's really just flour, sugar, eggs, butter, and I want to give a special shout out to the Cary Gold Butter. Okay. You have to have that. Yes. Uh, my grandparents are actually from Cary. In Ireland, okay. so this is the only butter we have in the house. <laughs> it's different than any other kind, so you need that. Um, buttermilk and okay, raisins. Buttermilk. That's, yep. that's like, yeah, okay. I, this yeah, is a, so you probably so have this is a batter that tastes terrible until before you bake it, yes. right? Yes, <laughs> so it's not sweet. It's not yeah. going to be like cake batter. Right. Um, so basically, it's super simple. You have all these ingredients. Don't You're you gonna love grandma's handwriting, by yeah. the way? Like, all grandmas write things down so you can actually read them as opposed to... I think that's, to that's actually my mom's oh, handwriting, mom? but it's my grand... <laughs> all right. Well, your but mom it's my grandma's handwriting, too. Yeah, Maureen so. O'Leary, is that your grandma? Yep. So this is her traditional recipe. She has made it ever since I can remember. Um, so, yeah, you've got the ingredients right there. Really, all you have to do is throw it together in a bowl and... When I say mix by hand, that is probably the most important step. Oh, for sure. Because if you're going to use a mixer or anything, even a spoon, you're not going to get the consistency that you want. So the bread is obviously hard and If crispy. you mix it too much, if you use a mixer, it's going to be like flat. There's going to be, right. it's going to be it's over mixed. Like it's not going to be good. And it's probably not going to taste good. So you're going to mix it by hand. Then I'm, I'm really I'm reading this. You Check don't have to pick to make sure it is done. Spread with Kerrygold Irish butter. That's the important <laughs> ingredient. That's so necessary. But you can leave it in the pan and really just mix it in the pan. So it is seriously okay. so simple. You don't have all you need is a mixing bowl and all these ingredients. There is me mixing it up in the bowl. <laughs> but you can also put it on the counter if you want to get fancy. Okay. Little bread maker. Um, but another trick that mm -hmm. my sister totally. I'm, I'm sure other people do this too. <laughs> she recommends. Yeah, she recommends sprinkling sugar on top when you're done. Okay. Just to make it a little bit sweeter. It's not so bland. Um, I personally never really liked it growing up because it's not super sweet. But yeah. if you add some sugar crystals on the top, it's great. And then we gave you a little bonus, if you can see here on camera. It's a shamrock. If you have like a cookie cutter, you can make a little mini croissant. <laughs> These are also super popular in Ireland, so they have All right, Nora, I'm going to cut into this. Okay, I hope okay? the plastic knife works out. <laughs> I feel like it's so hard. <laughs> I can't. Also, my... <laughs> <laughs> I'm right, so sorry we missed that. You want it to be crispy, guys. I this like is cut my finger. This is what bread is supposed to be. <laughs> I got it. I got it. <laughs> and I know I'm totally pushing this this Kerrygold brand, but I'm serious. Like, top it with butter. No, I Kerrygold that butter because it's a game changer. It's a game changer. This and is actually not something bad. else I didn't do for TV <laughs> is that you probably want to heat it up in the oven or microwave. So when you eat it, slice it up. Then this doesn't happen. When you eat it. it. <laughs> I think we need to get real utensils in here. I couldn't find any. I thought we had a knife. But okay, right. Warm it up. <laughs> butter it up. Happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> it's so easy. Hey, how can long make does this. it take to make like an oven? You bake it for an hour. Okay, so that's so the longest part. you have time part. to make it before Wednesday. When yeah. are you going to try this? I want to. Yeah, I'm coming over. <laughs> I'm coming over. I don't know if I'm scared to. I would like to see you try to make this. <laughs> I want to see me trying to make this. All right, morning. My close question of the day. We're going to get to that next.